Uh, yes, hello folks, welcome back. And uh, we're going to talk about the meeting, the shocking meeting that happened in Kiambu. Remember, Uhuru and Raila met in Kiambu a day or two ago. And actually, this has elicited mixed reactions. People are like, what does Uhuru want this time around? Of course, uh, analysts like Mutai Ngoni came out and said no. There's nothing big that will come out of the meeting because Uru failed Raila in last year's election. But to be told, Uru did not fail Raila because Raila claimed that he won the elections, but his votes were, you know, were stolen by Ruto. Those are, have been Raila's claims. Now we can't prove that at the moment. But now Uru Kenyatta wants to, you know, to restart the whole as a mere process. Like he wants Raila to be more prepared and face Ruto when it comes to 2027 election. That's what some people are saying, yeah? So the point is, how is he going to do it? Because right now, Uru is not the president. Ruto is the president. He's got the power, the instruments of power. So how will Uru Kenyatta make Raila the president now? Of course, um, speaking of 2027, it would be easy for Ruto to, to maintain or to remain in, in status. Why? Because the hustlers who gave him the votes don't want him anymore because he's a man full of lies. Yeah, mutukufu lies. <laughs> so I think Guru Kenyatta is banking on this issue. Yeah, he knows that hustlers will not vote for Rai, for Uru Kenyatta. For, sorry, for Ruto. So now he wants those hustlers from Kenya and other parts of the country to rally behind Raila Molodinga, and he wants to prepare Raila politically to you know to trounce. Ruto and move to from office. That's what some analysts are saying. Of course, you know very well, if there's someone who is unhappy with Ruto's presidency, is Uru Kenyatta. He never wanted Ruto to clinch to power. But of course, as fate will love it, Ruto is the president. But now, Uru wants to distort, to know, to dislodge him from status and replace him with Raila Morodinga. No one should ever underestimate Uru Kenyatta because he's a billionaire, he's a powerful individual, and truth be told, he's still the king in Mount Kenya. Yeah, Mount Kenya has got no king other than Uru Kenyatta, so no one should ever despise Uru's capability. And that's why I think he chose to meet Rela Modinga in Kiambu and of course discuss the 2027 election strategies. That's what happened in Kiambu. Yeah? Now tell me your view. 